What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my Red Dragon Archfiend deck I'm going to be showing you how to play the deck, the kind of combos and stuff just as I go through the deck profile um, Yeah, so this deck has uh, a lot of... It's kind of like a big bulky deck, like it's just it throws out big boss monsters every single turn and your opponent can't really deal with them uh, As well as I've added my own kind of techie cards that a lot of people haven't run or haven't even think about running uh, I've play tested this a lot and... Um, it's kind of, this is actually kind of a going first build because it's kind of now in, in Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays it's very hard to go second uh, unless you're running mm -hmm. a deck that goes second. Sorry about that. Um, so this is like a going first deck and you can always end with kind of a big boss monster. I always end with Abyss and Bane sort of thing. It's a good way to end. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'll go into the deck profile. This profile, this these cards have actually got me um, most of my subscribers today actually. I have a kind of a thing with this deck. Um, and the character Jack Atlas is always my favorite. So, yeah, so first off, we'll go into the Resonator, the Tuner Monsters, and then I'll go into like the normal fiends or whatever. So, this one is one of the new cards that came out of Eternity Code, and this one is Crimson Resonator. He's a level 2 fiend, and his effect is if he is, uh, so if there's no monsters, you can special summon them, and then if there is only, let's say, something like Red Rising Dragon is normally what you use with it, so you'd go uh, special summon, level 4 normal summon. Synchro for Red Rising, and then Red Rising would special summon him back. For those of you who don't know, I'll show you what Red Rising looks like. That's Red Rising. And Red Rising's effect is special summon him back from the graveyard. And then his uh, second effect is if he, him and another dark synchro dragon is on the field, he can special summon two resonators from the deck. So that's why you can go into pretty much anything like Red Nova Dragon and stuff like that. And because... You can go the, the the Red Rising and Crimson Resonator to make a level 8 and then go for the two other Resonators you go for to go into something like Red Nova or Calamity or whatever you want. The next card we run is Red Resonator. So for those who don't know, I'll just go over what it does. Uh, if it's a normal summon that kind of acts like a Goblin Burger, you can special summon a level 4. Um, or lower monster from your hand and then if it is special summoned you get to gain life points so like that with red rise and special summon from the graveyard you get to gain like 2100 life points so that's why it's kind of good the next card we have is three synchron resignator so if there is a synchro monster on the field he could special summon himself and then if he's used or sent to the graveyard you can search one of your red resonators from the graveyard back to your hand um, that's pretty much what he does he's fairly good to work in conjunction with him is Stark Resonator. So this card you can run any uh, level three resonator. Some people can run on clock. Some people run um, creation resonator. But mainly what you're doing is you only want to run one because you're going to search it with red or crimson. You're going to search it with him and go into your like red nova. And the other card we're going to search is probably chain or synchron. It's just whatever level one you want. So uh, it just works out eight and the four make the twelve. So um his effect is he can't be destroyed once per turn. So if you do draw him, you can just throw him down and, and a little bit of defense, thirteen hundred attack. And then chain resonator, if there's a synchro monster on the field, you can uh, normal summon him and then special another resonator from the deck. So that's why we run him. And that's all the tuners and sync or resonator monsters we run. The next card is a must, and it's tree wandering king wild wind. So basically, if there is a sync or a tuner, I have to remember the words properly. If there's a tuner, um, fiend, or resonator, you can special summon him, uh, and he's a level four. So it goes straight into the red rising again. So you're running um, what six level twos and level fours, and then you're just gonna go straight into red rising. You're gonna special summon and go for level eight. So it's always a level eight. Um, he has a second effect that. On not the turn you use them, but the next turn you can banish him and search one of your resonators, which is very, very good. Next one we're running is two red sprinter, only because three is too much. Um, his effect is when this card is normal summoned, uh, if he's the only card, if you control no other monsters, you can special summon a resonator from your hand or graveyard. So you kind of, if your opponent does wipe a board in your top deck, summon. And then you can summon back the thing and go off on crazy plays then and still get one boss monster and one card. Like if you do have this and Crimson, that's still normal summon, Crimson, Red Rising, Red Rising into uh, into Red Dragon Archfiend. And then Crimson's effect is searching Red Nova. So literally it's one card really when you think about it. Even like um, um, 
for like your big boss monsters. The next card is one of the other new cards, Red Familiar. So he's, he's kind of like a monster born for Red Dragon Archfiend. And what he does is he contributes... <laughs> Sorry, my phone's going mad. Um, you can tribute a fiend and then target a dark dragon synchro monster who gave it special summon him in defense position. This effect's negated. He also has another little effect that he can make, uh, you can banish him with the graveyard, target a dark synchro dragon and change its level. So if you do have red rising dragon on the field and even a synchro and resignator, you can banish him, change him to level eight and then go into abyss very easy. So that's another little combo you can do as well. Um, but you can summon pretty much anything and just change their level, which is nice. The one, Stygian Street Patrol. We're able to run normal summons only because all our Resonators kind of special summon him or special summon themselves, so you can normal summon. Um, he has the additional effect to special summon a fiend uh, when you banish him from the graveyard. We have Trick Clown, so if you use Trick Clown, um, like I said, you can normal summon because our Resonators special summon themselves. You can normal summon him, or you can when he's sent to the graveyard, you pay a thousand life once he special summons himself, just in case you wanted to go for um, two red risings. Actually, not very hard to do. And then we have perform mage hat tricker. So this one is if you control two monsters, you can special summon him. So that's his effect. So they're just kind of some people I see run like three of this and none of these, or uh, three of this and and maybe one of these or something. But I just think this is really nice. I, honestly, you'll try it out the deck, uh, and you'll see yourself that it's actually very very handy. These are like as if you want to run one, one monster, but I just want to change it up a little bit, and it's actually working really really well. I've won most of the duels that I've uh, dueled against or whatever. The next one for the hand traps is Ash Blossom to stop your opponent from doing stuff. And then Effect Veiler. If you have Impermanence, run that. Uh, if not, this is the budget version. Uh, effect Veiler. So, that is it for the monsters anyway. The next card we run is Resonator Call, which searches all our Resonator monsters. Um, simple as. Once you have this and you have Crimson at level 4, you can go off on any of your plays. The next card we run is Resonator Command. So, if you do end up, there is a time when you draw like 3 Resonators. And you draw this, and then you just get rid of one of your resonators and search probably one or two uh, wild wind or um, red sprinter, depending on what you want. And it's just a really good, nice searcher. It just searches a level four fiend by getting rid of a resonator. The next card we have is Return of the Dragon Lord. So like that, if I were to summon something like Abyss, and then still have a level two on the field or something, and go for this, you can get Red Dragon Archfiend back, and then go for you know like a bane or something and then you have this extra uh, effect in the graveyard that if it's going to be destroyed just banish this instead so it's like an extra not a gate but like a defense as well so that's really cool i definitely i'd run two one run three um monster born just because your opponent could have some burn you want to special summon that then one of the new cards then we're running is red rain so i tried it at three and it was consistent which is what you want but I don't know, I kind of wanted to see more fiends and tuners in my hand rather than just red rain, but red rain is an amazing card, once you have this, once you get the one, you can just reuse it, so uh, if you control a level 8 or higher synchro monster, you can uh, banish uh, all the monsters your opponent controls, and your opponent can't do anything, like, so basically it's kind of like, just a you in a gate with abyss and they try to do something else, you activate this, with the highest level and everything it's just that you do have two monsters you're going to have to have like two of this on the field just because it, it leaves the highest monster on the field and everything else is destroyed so you use red rain you banish everything on the field and then this goes to the graveyard and if you synchro summon on your turn then after your opponent just say ends it comes back and sets itself back to your field so it's really really good uh, but it's like like having two negates it just stops your opponent's plays completely because you're going to banish whatever they have and then we have a new card I was trying out is Lost Wind. Um, stopping your opponent's effects is just amazing. I've tried this a lot online and your opponent just isn't ready for Lost Wind and the fact that it reoccurs as well is really nice. Um, during the damage step, you can set this card, banish it when it leaves the field, if your opponent uh, special summons from a graveyard, extra deck, whatever. When this card is graveyard, if your opponent special summons a monster, you can uh, set this back in your field and use it one more time. So, it's very good. Sometimes negating your opponent's effect stops them completely and there's nothing they can do and that's why it's really, really good. That's why I'd recommend like as much negation as possible because it just stops your opponent and they can do nothing so like a lot of the time i'll have to i'll I try to end with like two abyss 
a lost wind, a red rain, and then when you have four or five negates, your opponent's just going to scoop, they can do nothing. Um, so then let's get into the extra deck. I'll go from the back first, maybe. So we're running three Red Rising Dragon. It's just too good not to run. Um, and you can activate their effects multiple times. So just say, like, if you summon the red, right, or sorry, if you have, like, the level four tuner and a level four fiend, um, and then you can, let's say you have one Rookin Wild Wind in your hand, you can special summon one Rookin Wild Wind as well as you have in your two monsters. You can sync off a Red Rising, special summon back the tuner, so you'll have one Rookin Wild Wind and the tuner. And you can sync off those two and have two Red Rising Dragons on the field, and he'll special summon another one, and then you can go into having uh, a level eight synchro. So it's very good because like having a 2100 beat stick and having your big level 8 is really, really good. It has another effect that um, you can banish them and special summon two level 1s from your graveyard and special summon them. So you can go into stuff like Tyrant Red Dragon and we'll go into that in a bit or even Abyss. So it's really nice. The next card we're running is one Red Wyvern. Um, the only reason I run this is because if your opponent does... If it's like you're going first and you can do absolutely nothing, the least thing you can do is summon this. Because this is kind of like your opponent summons something, anything with 2400 more attack, and you just get rid of it. Um, Just just if you wrote, play it, or your hand is very, very bad, and you can do absolutely nothing, I'd end with this. Uh, Just because I'd rather end with this than like a Red Dragon Archfiend that's just going to be destroyed. Um, That was just my thought process, just in case. Uh, then we have the one Beals it's just a really really good card if you want to end with this either this is just another kind of thing I didn't want to um, I don't want to be open at all like I feel like Red Dragon Archfiend ending on that is you're just too open so the idea behind this was this card can't be shown by battle or card effects which is just wicked like and it gains so if is attack involving this card from your opponent's card, or if the wait when you take damage from an attack involving this card, or from an opponent's card effect, it gains the attack, it gains the damage you took. Like, so this is a really nice card to end on. Sometimes your opponent just can't get over, especially with effects, uh, it can't be sure with battle or card effects. The next card is probably one of the strongest hot red dragon archfiend. He can destroy all attack position monsters on the field, and then he can still attack, the rest of them can't. Then we have Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, two of him. He basically pops anything on the field that isn't strong enough to beat him. Um, he's just super good. He If you can pop your own monsters and inflict 500 for each uh, 3,000, is it level 8 or 3,000 attack? No, it's attack less than this card, so anything less than 3,000 is just getting popped straight away, um, which is amazing. So that's it for the level 8. The next one is the two Abyss, which are the level 9s. Very easy to go into. He can negate one thing once per turn. And also, if you inflict battle damage, you can special summon a resonator from the graveyard. So you could special summon red resonator and gain 3200 life points. Um, the next one is Bane. And I think he's the only level 10. I'm not sure. Um, he has the effect he can tribute one of your cards and then special summon a red dragon archfiend from the graveyard. So you can bring back Abyss or red dragon archfiend. Um, he has another effect that uh, if there is a resonator in the graveyard, you can when you inflict battle damage, you can special summon that resonator and one from the deck with the same level. The next one is Beelzeus the Diabolic Dragon. So the way to run this is, like I said before, if you have something like Red Sprinter, and you have uh, a level 2 resonator, and then you have another level 4, like Wandering King Wild Wind, you can use the two of those and the one tuner to go into this. And this is just a bigger Beals. Um, this is 4,000 attack, still can't be sure about battle card effects, it requires two monsters and one dark tuner. Um, it can't be sure about battle card effects, other monsters you control cannot attack. Once per turn you can target one monster your opponent controls, any damage your opponent takes from attacks involving uh, is halved. Also change that monster attack to zero, and if you do gain life points equal to its original attack. So your opponent has 3,000 monster, you activate its effect, uh, you gain 3,000 life points and then attack and it inflicts 1,500 damage like, when you, or it actually inflicts 2,000 damage when you think about it. So you're gaining 3,000 life points, you're inflicting 2,000 and it's just a really, really big beat stick. Like, how is your opponent get over it? Uh, next level 10 is Tyrant. Tyrant requires like a Red Dragon Archfiend and two level 1s or you can do Red Rising Dragon and um, two level 2s or whatever. So order 3 and 1. Uh, you can do that either, but this one basically just nukes the whole board and then during the battle phase if your opponent were to activate something you can negate it 
Uh, so that's it for the tens. Next, the twelves is Red Nova Dragon, which can negate an attack. It also gains 500 for each um, Tuna Monster in the graveyard. So it gets pretty big. Or Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity, which is uh, one of the bosses cards ever. It just negates everything on the field. Your opponent can't do anything when you do negate those things. Um, and then if it's destroyed, you get special and a level 8 Dark Synchro Monster from the graveyard. So, that's it for the video, guys. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I do definitely recommend checking this out. Um, check out my Instagram, eBay, Twitch, all that good stuff. Good luck.